If he beats him too much, that means he might counterpick to Sans. All right, FD gonna be, hey, interesting that this wasn't banned, that he managed to actually go here. Uh, but regardless, we're gonna see a lot more of an aerial gameplay from Caleb than maybe we're used to seeing uh, from most Pac-Man. Pac Does Joe Horn have a Twitter? Uh, I am unsure about that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ooh, but one thing about, I was gonna, I, I, oh man, a Pikachu, did somebody just punish Pac forward air? I feel like a fool. Um, anyway, so one thing I was going to say is that Caleb is probably going to go for more of an aerial-based game plan, uh, and that could end up not working out great for him against Pikachu specifically, considering how Pikachu likes to go into the air and has some really good hitboxes, and in general, the character just is easy force to be reckoned with if you're going to be jumping into the air. Uh, I will say... Ooh, okay, the armor actually, so, wow, turning that situation completely on its head. Caleb now has the lead here, and with that, he can actually possibly do a lot. Pikachu can kind of struggle to kill, and Pac-Man is one of the better characters at staying alive through, you know, everything. Oh. oh. Dang, That's if only he so had up beat, I would have owed Devin oh. $2. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm not really able to smash the eye out of that. Mm -hmm. Also, not too much of a deficit in percentage. Like, Pac-Man's the kind of character, like, you got to stay right on his ass. Like, if you're fast enough, you can kind of just, like, play the far and close game because you're like, all right, I can get my breather. Uh, if he builds his wall, like, it's more so an obstacle rather than a wall for him. Now, one thing I really like about the adaptation from Caleb right now is where he's positioning himself. Just because uh, Joe Pone has been throwing out a lot of these forward airs, just throwing out moves, basically, to try and discourage Pac-Man from moving towards him. But as a result, Caleb is staying at this distance where he can still throw those straight-on projectiles. Oh, is that it? Nope. Oh, no, he gets the late there. Ooh, okay, I don't know about that commitment there. Okay, so the first uh, T Joel not stopping the app. Never mind, you know what? The ha it's just gonna shut everyone up. The hydrant, it's like, you die, you die now. You die and go to hell. You die and go to hell. <laughs> oh, this could be a really big edge guard for him. Joe Pone has not really, I mean, actually, he. That's not gonna kill. Yeah, but, but so Joe Poon was ooh, doing oh frames away. Bro, I want to see uh, Thunder two frame without it hitting Pikachu. It's like the most remote two frame from the heavens. <laughs> All right, that actually was a two frame because there's no way that he could have like hit him out of the armor. That's gonna not be big damage possibly. Ugh. Caleb has definitely slowed this down and oh. He put like himself that. off the stage. That was an assist. Give give Caleb some points right there, considering he helped to lead to his own death. Oh, wow. Uh, that Hydra just somehow managed to completely outspace that Pikachu up air. As things stand right now, this is a pretty good position for Caleb if he manages to really capitalize off of this. Ever since he got that lead, this has just been a completely different story from game one. Or, sorry, from the first stop. Ooh, trying to be cute. Ooh. Now, this is not thing, impossible. <gasps> another thing I'd mention is that uh, Caleb, I feel like, hasn't been shielding enough. Oh my god, the extra, the hit lag from hitting the Hydrant as well helped whittle that shield down to nothing. Hasn't been shielding enough shields for 10 hours. <laughs> no, but like, he has gotten yeah. tons of counterattacks. Uh, like, he just shields and then just nares out. Ooh, okay, when, wow. Uh, Joe Pone just comes in with nothing, so right? he knocked <gasps> the Hydrant and the Hydrant acted as a shield. Oh, Ooh. Lord. <laughs> I like that. Pikachu's just like, I'm expecting to get hit by my own thunder. And his thunder just brought like a little extra present along with it. 
Good lord. Glord. <sighs> now, I personally don't think that stage was a good idea. Uh, the fact that Caleb, at least for Joe Paul, the mm -hmm. fact that Caleb could eventually, he figured out that he was yuck. Um, so what? Ha he, he hit him, but he didn't, he get didn't hit, hit him. He didn't get hit by the thunder. Huh. I think Pac-Man just placed himself enough that he didn't get hit by the thunder. You just have him like, uh, oh, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> look at I actually. Here I thought that was a calculated move. Clearly not. That that shrug from Caleb shows that he's just as clueless as the rest of us. All right, so we're going back to FD. Uh, so Caleb had gotten rid of triplats. I don't know. May, I mean, like, I kind of get it because, like, when you're a fast character and, like, you don't want the hydrant to, like, when Pac-Man has, like, a ceiling, a floor above you to just, like, do stuff, you sometimes just, like, don't want to have that at all. I mean, the one thing is that Caleb figured out that he can just stay a little bit further back in the air specifically and throw a projectile because, you know, Joe Pone is just throwing out a lot of these moves. And that can absolutely be punished from a, like, an apple or a melon from far away. Uh, okay, the latest apple. All right, so it's sticking. Now that's the latest apple again. Oh boy! All right, it's pretty even right now. Oh wow! I think the throw invincibility helped him not get hit by the hydrant right there. Caleb is slowing it down just a little bit. Being more patient, trying Ooh. not to, sh trying to shield more. And right as I say that, he takes to the air and gets up smashed for it. Yeah, the the nice thing about Pikachu is that Pikachu can play at any pace you want. He's just like, yeah, bro, I'm there, I'm with you. Now another thing about Pac-Man, he doesn't really have explosive stocks. Like, you know, he doesn't really take Pikachu stock at 80 that easily. I mean, finally clears it out with that back air, but that was 150% in. Does anyone want to point out, uh, Joe Pone is here because he upset Tilde. Ooh, that's pretty darn good. Yeah, I didn't even think twice about it. Who did uh, Caleb beat to get here? Anyone notable? Uh, Ace Toe. Oh, a Sato. That's yeah. actually pretty good, too. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so this time Joe Pone doing a much better job of, like, keeping the percentage a lot closer, and I think that's giving him a lot more confidence and just, like, more breathing room is what I would say, because he just died by doing a really dumb dash attack. But if he's able to get this kill, maybe I can, you know, rescind my... Oh, there we go. You know what? Keeping those percents right. yeah. really even, you know, staying on the stocks. Uh, <laughs> this is a last stock situation. Yeah, you can definitely see that, like, a lot of his movement has been a lot more calculated the, and a lot more just reserved. Yeah, Joe Pone isn't just throwing out moves the way that he was earlier on in the set. That actually is really scary for him. That miss input could cost him dearly. He has no jump right now. He does make it back to Ooh. the ledge. Oh, wow. Wow. Actually, he was able to avoid the hitbox extension from hitting the hydrant. Okay, I don't know if I like that up smash. And then he just kind of ran in. Ooh! You just, just throw out the, the game-winning item. Just like, I'm going to kill you. Wow, all right. Oh, Hit him really with the big. tail end of that up. The oh, this is so spooky. Ooh, okay, he's not going to do anything. Oh, you know what? Yeah, he can he can hang back. He can't summon items anymore. Oh, wow! No, Any come on, don't oh. don't fall for that again. Like, I don't know how that's happening so consistently. He's like, and then he's gonna thunder. Ooh. Wow, that one didn't do for You little beaver birds. Oh, all right, didn't get it out of the way. <sighs> oh, that was such a risky roll. Like, bro, just let it hit your shield. <laughs> get the hell out of there. Both these guys are in the red. This is definitely a lasted situation right oh. now. <laughs> I really like the adjustment They're that Joe Pone so has made, but I'm getting attacks. freaked yeah. out, man. Oh, Lord. Wow. Okay, both these guys are playing really well, but at the yeah. end there, you can see they 
just wanted to end it so badly. That was pretty just sick. Smash after smash after smash. All right, so uh, Joe Pwn going to be getting rid of Kalos and Unova. So we're just going to PS2. Okay. Hmm. Um, okay, so is he going to sand it up? Because I'll just end the stream. <laughs> Oh my god, after he spent at least two minutes making the sands meme. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that uh Proton already has one, right? Yes, he does. So now there are two useless sands memes on the setup. <sighs> yeah. Yeah there are. Oh. Right, pretty strong start for Joe Pone. Magic to get 56%, but just like that, a pretty clean retaliation. These guys are even neck and neck. Wow. Uh, all right, Caleb is using a lot of his aerials to try and help him get down, but some good spacing from Joe Pone. He's just beating them out consistently, whether it's a forward air or up air. Regardless, Caleb is going to have to perhaps find a more defensive way of getting down from the ground. Maybe not that defensive. He probably could have gotten a counter punish on that. Yeah, on so that, uh, the nice things about these platforms that Pac-Man can take advantage of is that like, he can basically build a house. He puts the hydrant as the front door, locks it, and just uh, hides under the platform. So you can't come in from above because uh, you won't fall through the platform if you, commit, if you press any button. And uh, yeah. You know, I would kind of hope to see maybe a little more key from Caleb. Uh, even at these kind of lower percents. Oh, that yeah. dash attack finishes it. Just because it feels, like Joe Pone, it feels like Joe Pone is throwing out these moves at what would be a safe distance. Ooh, oh, so close. By the way, uh, Pac-Man can't do, like, drop through platform up air. Oh, why I'm, not? Uh, I'm pretty sure it has to do with his ECB. Like, he just lands back on the platform. I, I have to ask Sinji about it. But uh, it's like if you do drop the platform up air, he just lands back on the platform. Thank you, Dara, for the dime bit. Ooh. Okay, so Caleb finally managing to get that stock, but he's taken 45% in the process. Not a great position to be in, but regardless, you've seen that his damage output is pretty solid, especially with Galaxy, and that might be the key thing to evening up this game. Ooh, but right like, like that, he was not able to actually connect it. Jopon, oh man, he's really slowing this down, throwing out all of these Thunder Jolts and using those platform layouts to his advantage as well. Oh. oh my god. Sheesh. Honestly, like, all of that happened. He, like, Joe Pone is now losing because he wanted to approach with that quick attack. Like, if he didn't do that, if he just kept spamming his uh, little thunder jolts, he would be, like, about 50% healthier right now. Mm -hmm. I'm actually surprised that he was able to quick attack through it. Oh, Ooh. oh we should be fine, though. What? Who's what? He's alive. I guess it's because he landed the two frame. Oh, he, yeah, he, everyone wants to steal that third hop from uh, I'm glad that he just has the wherewithal for it, you know, like. Uh, but you don't want to do it if it's not going to mean anything. Yeah, but. He, he lost stage positioning just to have like yeah. a fun little hop. No, him going for it there, not great, but I'm just glad that he's aware. Just personally, not enough people are aware of it. So I'm glad, I'm happy to see it. All right. It's still not enough, though, and that's actually really bad for Caleb. If a Hydrant is moving 30 miles an hour <laughs> and you're going 180,000 miles an hour, at what force does the Hydrant smash your face? <laughs> Woo! It's been a while since I've done the SATs. Yeah, right? It's just... Back throw's still not enough. I guess he, he, did the, he went, didn't go for any pummels, probably because he was hoping to catch Joe Pum with some bad DI. Oh, there wow. we go. Great trap right there. I, Pikachu could have, I mean, Pikachu can always get around everything, but it's so hard to know where the right precise angle is that Pac-Man isn't just going to cover. Sometimes the Hydrant's moving two miles an hour and you're you're going, you know, 200. Did Pikachu just low profile Galaxian? Let's go. 
What's what's the opposite of let's go? Let's do that. Oh, oh. <gasps> wow, that was a, so. Like in that position, he could have set up a hydrant to like block those thunder jolts, mm -hmm. and instead he threw that Galaxian because he realized that he was actually gonna get hit by it. <gasps> Again, he goes for it. Oh, 75% already. This game is even. This is game three. Caleb winning by 0.5%. <laughs> oh, that's not going to kill, though, yet. Just Definitely spook another him, one though. of those probably will. Ooh. Oh, really good job. Not going into that cutting caught with a neutral get up right there. <sighs> I'm sorry, but it's been... That has not worked out for, uh, there have been moments where yeah. that's not worked out for Chopone in the past. Ooh, ah, oh ah. my god, he rolls behind, barely frames away from getting hit by that forward smash. <gasps> Hydra wasn't in effect, otherwise he would have gotten hit by it. Careful. He wants the forward smash, he gets it after all of that. Chopone getting another big win as he moves on in the winner's bracket. Yeah, good stuff to Chopone. First, uh, Tilde, now... Caleb. Caleb. Well, Caleb got an upset of his own, sort of. So mm -hmm. it's always a little bit unfortunate when you have two people who have upset have to go against each other, you know? Now they're really mad.